Hi. I'm still embarrassed from my last video. I'm still desperate and shit out of luck too, so there's that. Um, yeah, if you can go back there and help, please. I appreciate it. Or whatever. Anyway, I want to talk about control. Um, the control thing. Like, can we just, can we please address the control thing? It's annoying me. Like, control is a fundamental part of life. Yeah, I mean, you organize your workspace and manage finances and, like, all of those things are for control. Every single person on the earth is trying to control everything all the time. So why then is the control narrative around eating disorders so fucking isolated? It's oversimplified and it's misunderstood compared to other forms of control. Because, I mean, it's just like everything everyone does is for control. This It's stupid. And when people say eating disorders are about control, I mean, it doesn't even resonate with me. Uh, the first time I heard somebody say that to me, I was like, what the fuck? Uh, what does that even mean? That's so vague. And um, there, it just completely neglects all the other nuances, the self-punishment, the self-destruction, uh, the way that it is to express emotions or to visualize and just like make your pain more logical to make it more tangible you know um everyone is trying to gain control over something like people clean their houses for order um I mean, I mean they even engage in like manipulation and abuse for power and dominance you know that's all for control and from this angle eating disorders are more of a universal human drive for control. But, I mean, so are many other behaviors. So why do we patholo 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 Why is it pathologized specifically in eating disorders so fucking much? Like, recovery content oversimplifies eating disorders and it makes it into, like, little digestible narratives of control, recovery, progress, but... It's harmful because it just doesn't really capture the long-term nuanced reality of living with this. Uh, I mean, control doesn't even really feel like the right word. Um, and I feel like it's not even about having control. Like, I lack it, if anything. Like, how the fuck does that, does control apply to a bulimia at all? When I'm binging and purging, and I'm in a binge and purge episode, like, I feel like I'm being dragged by a magnet that's pulling me. If I smell food and I'm close to shoving it into my mouth and I'm hovering over it, it's like my, my out, the outside of my body, like, tingles. Like, it's, it, it, like, pulls me towards it. It's like a magnet I have to physically fight ba back. I have to physically rip myself away from it. And then if I manage to, then it completely takes over my mind and I literally can't think of anything else no matter how hard I try. So to me, it's like shitting, sleeping, drinking water. Like it's just some, it's something I do. And um, the impulse is so overwhelming that I can only react to it. Um... I wrote a whole thing out today. I actually took my time on this video. <laughs> like, whenever I was on cam, I was just writing shit down. Um, but, yeah, it's like something inside of you that controls you. Like, I know they're my thoughts. And I know, but I know how to provoke them. And I do provoke them. Like, I do trigger myself all the time. But it just, it doesn't feel like a choice. Really, like, even though it's, like, the choice isn't between doing it and not doing it. It's between, like, fighting it or not fighting it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even know what a different world would look like. I don't know what it would be like to wake up and not be like this. I don't know what tomorrow would look like if I didn't do this. Like, there's, there's no sense of active decision making. Like, I don't sit there and then decide I'm going to do that, I'm going to do whatever. Like, I'll sit there and I'll make a plan, like, this is how I'm going to eat today. And then, uh, if I fuck that up, then I have to react to fucking it up, you know? So, 
I feel like I don't have the choice to get better. I feel like I just have to navigate it to a degree that it doesn't rule every single little aspect of my life. Like, it's, it's old enough to vote. Uh, I didn't, like, I don't have a say in how people react over my appearance, really. It's, uh, I can either get them to leave me alone or not leave me alone about it. And I didn't have a say and how my parents told me that I would only matter if I was thin. And I don't get to choose, uh, I don't get to choose to not be like that. I don't get to choose to wipe my brain completely clean and rewire it. Like, what shirt you're going to wear today is a choice. What road you want to take to the store, that's a choice. What drink you want to order is a choice. Being overwhelmed with the compulsion that drives you to hurt yourself, like, that's not something that you you choose. That's just something that you can choose to fight or not fight. And if you don't understand that, it's because you don't fucking have an eating disorder. I mean, I can't make you know what that's like, but people aren't fucking robots. You know, people uh, are... Id, our emotions, are those things. They They don't... We're, like, no matter, everybody is going to tell you, like, you just have to, you just have to basically program yourself and work like a computer, but people don't. Um, yeah, anyway, I just wanted to talk about that. Okay, bye.